Hi, this is Becky with Icing on Top Becky's Cakes, and today we're making a wedding cake. It's called the Storybook Forest Wedding Cake. It'll be three tiers made to look like birch tree slices, and then with a flower wrap around. I put a little bit of shortening on this board and some wax paper, and then I'm gonna flip it over and tape it here. Cutting off all the edges I don't need, just so I don't have things that get in the way. And I put on my non-slip pad on my turntable. First, I'm going to apply the first layer of the tan buttercream really quickly to the top of this. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is where we're going to be putting the wax paper. And then we're going to be flipping that upside down so that it smooths itself out. And there's the flip. And then we're going to put white frosting all around the edges. And this obviously is the bottom and we're just going to use our level to make sure that I can press down any sides that I need it to be even on. And now I'm going to apply the white frosting and this will give us that ring once we flip it back over. But you'll see. So first we're going to put on plenty of frosting. This is just my quick icer tip and it just helps get the frosting on quickly and uh, then we can just scrape it to uh, how we like it nice and smooth with our bench scraper and I'm trying to keep the bench scraper at a 90 degree angle here because otherwise you're gonna get uh, it fatter on the bottom or the top and you don't want that after we get it as smooth as we can with the bench scraper I'm gonna get some boiling hot water put my metal bench scraper in that wipe it with the paper towel and go around with that and then once I finish that I will uh, wait till the buttercream isn't sticky anymore and then um, I'll get a piece of wax paper and use my uh, fondant tool to kind of just smooth that wax paper out and just any little bumps that I see there. Now here you see my big 10 inch um, cake and I'm going to be putting that 8 inch that we were just working on on top of my 10 inch. So first I'm going to measure using an 8 inch cardboard, piece of cardboard, um, cake board actually, and then I'm just going to press that in so I have the markings of where I know my 8 inch cake will go. Right here you see me using the bubble tea straws here, and these are going to be my supports. They work the same as um, wooden dowels, if you've used wooden dowels as supports. But the bubble tea I just find is easier to get all the same size and um, they're very strong too. I haven't seen any difference between that and a wooden dowel actually. So these are easier and they work about the same. So I press all those in, I have my supports in place. I'm gonna flip this, there's the flip, and take off that cardboard and wax paper gently. And now it's been in the freezer uh, for about an hour, so it's nice and firm. So that made it easy to come off. And here we go, we're gonna paint our cake now. This is the fun part. And I'm gonna paint it um, with gel food coloring. And in order to get it thin enough to have the paint come on nice, I kind of thin it out using uh, an airbrush food coloring. So I have a gold shimmer airbrush food coloring that I'm used to thin my brown gel and also a super black gel. And then I just use um, the super black in the middle of certain um, knots and stuff that I want to be darker. And then I go around the outside with uh, the brown and gold. Just adding details of what I think the birch tree would look like. You see some of these look like a, the birch tree has a little part of it that's peeling the bark or a knot or something. I just like to add a lot of interest to um, each of these cake slices. And 
once I'm done adding all the details I want here, I'm going to add my last tier on top, and then I'm going to do the super fun part, which is add all the other details. Here around the bottom, I'm just piping on some um, darker green. It's called Forest Green by Miracolor, and then I'm using my uh, little painting tool to pat that so that I get some good texture to make it look like moss. So I'm just going to pat that all the way around, getting as much texture as I can, and then I'm going to add a couple other colors to give it some more detail. After I get that just how I want, I have a lighter leaf green that I'm going to pipe directly onto um, my painting tool. And then I will pat that even lighter right on top of the darker green. That gives us a little more definition. Now after I get as much of the light green on as I think looks right, then I'm going to get my uh, super white gel food coloring and just lightly dab that directly onto the moss to give it more detailing and make it look more moss-like. And that's um, by Americolor, that super white that I have there. Now I'm just going to mark with the, my dowel rod exactly where I want to put my roses. And I took my roses out of the freezer and I put some fresh buttercream on and I'll just pop those roses on exactly where I want them. Now if you want to know how to make these buttercream roses, I have a tutorial about how to make these exact roses here actually. So if you want to hop on over to that tutorial after this, you're welcome to do so. But here we go, popping on those roses. And then I'm going to um, get out my piping bags and we'll have lots of fun piping on leaves and little buds and all kinds of other things. Now I'm just going to add a little hanging vine here and put little flowers um, on this vine. I have some flowers that look like it on my cake stand, so I wanted to kind of match that and kind of keep the whole theme flowing here. Now I'm just dotting on some little uh, greenery, some little buds, and after I pipe on these little dark green buds, I'm going to go back when they're harder and uh, pipe on the white part. Here are my leaves. I'm going to add plenty of those so we have lots of greenery since it's a forest. And then here I go back in with the white and pipe on those little buds. And I'm adding some little rose buds around the sides here and some more leaves. And just fill in those leaves there. Just a couple more rosebuds for some detail, and that's it. Our forest cake. Thanks for watching, and please watch any of my other tutorials.